Want me to check again? Well, I wouldn't want you to tire yourself. I'll do it. Lieutenant, I'll be at home. Ernie will call me when the papers get back. Easy for you, Gerard, black and white. Yes, it has to be. Which gives you the advantage. And it is guys you choose. Hero to a whole town. Saving kids from a burning bus, that's a disguise. You know, for all the thinking I've done about you, I don't know how your mind works at all. Now, maybe I do. I'm a fugitive, so nothing I do is decent. All this time, all those places, haven't you been living a lie? I had a choice, didn't I? Gerard, when they take me down to that holding cell and give me my last meal, walk me to the door and strap me in that chair, my words are going to be exactly the same. I didn't kill her. I didn't, Gerard. No, of course you didn't. Tucson, Dallas, Los Angeles, Seattle, Atlanta, Miami, and North Oak. All those rooms, all those days and nights alone, remembering and imagining. Until the difference between reality and fantasy is not quite so clear anymore. Hey, you make yourself believe that being a fugitive has done something to my mind. You're forgetting that my story's exactly the same now as it was the night of the murder. And it was and is a lie. What are you so godlike that because you couldn't find a one-armed man, you don't believe he exists? I've done everything humanly possible to find him. I think you have. I wonder why. It's my job. It's also a curse, isn't it, Gerard? You know, I think you have nightmares, too. The nightmare is that when I'm dead, you'll find him. What are you running from, Gerard? 